All right, so we're gonna dive into the first two of your personal power zones today. My name is Antique Alicia, and I'm the founder of Your Own University, where we really love on you and help you take your own personal care to the next level. Um, personal care and this learning about who you are is one of the most Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to dive into your first two personal power zones. And um, I'm going to give you just some tips and tricks that you can absolutely feel confident and love on yourself. There's one thing that I know I've never met somebody that is abused or abusive that is self-confident, truly self-confident, not something that you prove to anybody or need anybody, but really, really feel good about who you are and what you're doing. So that is my intention today, is to share with you how you can say, yes, I'm in charge of my body. This is my body. I get to live in it the rest of my life, and I'm choosing powerfully how to take care of it. And we're going to do that a couple ways. I want you to um, really welcome yourself to grow into this process. It's not something that you change overnight. Don't be hard on yourself. These are things that you can do that will take 15 minutes a day, literally, and, and will add huge, huge benefit to your life. I teach all about this in my amazing You program and all of my personal coaching and it's something that helps us all just find more time and feel more confident in our own skin. So let's dive right in. If you haven't met me yet, if you didn't watch the first video, please watch the first video. But my name is Antique Alicia, and I'm the CEO and founder of Your Own University and um, Divinely You, this nonprofit here. Um, really loving on you to step into this next phase of truly, truly ending the cycle of abuse for you and your family and generations to come. And we're gonna start by ending the cycle of self-abuse here in the body. So you have a physical body, it's really, you know, it's complex, right? You have all of your systems, you have all of your organs, you have your skin, it moves, it gets up, it has different diseases and disorders and aches and pains. But what you might not know is we hold our issues in our tissues. So your body has a lot of wisdom, a lot of memory in it. And as you get healthy, this memory starts to unwind and unfold as if you might have heard that analogy of the onion and you're like peeling back the layers of the onion that happens in your body too. So as you're healing your body, as you're learning to love on your body with the three tips, only three that I'm giving you today, having a journal close by, even, you know, something that you just write on like, like this to just journal to your body. Hey body, what do you have to say? It sounds crazy maybe, but it's truly, truly powerful for your body to detox and to let go. Even if what you're writing sounds like gibberish and nonsense, you don't have to attach to it. You just write it all down. There's another thing that I want to share with you when it comes to this writing that I'm going to be talking about through out this entire training series. When you write in your journal, this is my advice to you. If you're writing a journal piece that you want to keep, a memory that you'd like to keep, go ahead and write it. So your gratitude list and all the stuff you're gonna write on the page. But when you're journaling to your body about old crap that's just coming up and needing to be expressed, my advice to you is to write on one page. And as you write, Write everything on one page as if your body is telling it to you and then go back over it and keep writing on that one page, everything. And as you write, it's gonna get illegible, illegible, right? And that's okay because you, you already did those memories. They're totally in the past. Remember, this course is to leave things in the past. So you're just gonna write, write, write. You're just getting it out. You're getting the issues out of your tissues and into the, onto the page. And if you really wanna take this further, you can um, put it someplace safe and safely burn it. Make sure to be um, safe with that um, so you don't catch anything else on fire. 
really, really powerful thing to get the issues out of your tissues and into your, um, just out, <laughs> right? Out. Now, the three things that you can do for your body to, to feel really great is one, drink half your body weight in water every day. I like to use a 40 ounce, it's not here with me right now, but a 40 ounce um, 10 that you can get or a glass jug. You can go to the store and buy one of those um, glass water bottles and just reuse it over and over again. 10 or glass, aluminum or not aluminum, um, yeah, 10 or glass is best to drink out of. Plastic tends to leak estrogens into our body, which makes us a little hormonal, especially if you're, um, well, men or women, actually. So make sure to get either glass or 10 and then drink half your body weight in ounces a, a day. That's going to flush emotions out. It's going to flush the issues out of your tissues. <laughs> it's also going to help you release weight, feel really great, and have more energy. At first, you'll pee a lot, but that subsides. The second thing that I want you to do is run out and get pH strips. So your pH should be in the alkaline. And most of the time when we're moody, tired, and exhausted, or having dis-ease in the body, the body is acid. It's acidic, which means that we're not getting enough dark leafy greens and vegetables in our diet. Another thing, um, good, um, like, grapefruit and lemon water also raise the pH in our system. But you can get a pH strip, you can do saliva, or you can just pee on it in the morning and test it. And you can get them at your local health food store. Really easy, really powerful. And if you're not in that 7.5, 8.5 range, your body is actually creating dis-ease. And that disease is going to go in all of your power zones. So it's going to transform into low energy, which is going to transform into meanie making. And we'll get into that in a minute. It's going to go into like just not feeling well and it adds to the depression. So you can shift all of this really fast by just becoming aware of your pH and then upping your dark leafy greens, high pH food, alkaline foods, and drinking lemon water. Super, super easy to do. And you'll know that you're taking great care of yourself. I have survived cancer and keeping my body at an alkaline space is really important to not have those cancer scares again. And you don't want to be like me and have to walk through that again. <laughs> so, um, this is really important and it also balances your hormones. It takes care of a ton of stuff. So the third thing that we're going to do for your body is movement. I love yoga and stretching. However, my favorite things to really recommend to my clients right now is HIIT workouts because we're all, we have a little bit of time and we got to get moving in and out. And no matter how big or small you are, how much time you have or not, a HIIT workout can be done in 10 to 15 minutes. You can do five minute segments three times a day and get your workout in. A HIIT workout also burns nine times the calories as a normal workout. It gets your cardiovascular system working, gets your muscles working, and helps you burn unwanted weight off your body, which is a common goal for so many of us. And the best part about HIIT workouts is you can truly find them on YouTube for free and do them in your living room because most of them are, um, are weight bearing, are body weight bearing. And you just work up to it. So you do the best you can until eventually you just totally kick butt at that one. And then you can find a harder one on YouTube and they're absolutely free. You got to love that. All you need is your phone, right? Just do it. It's beautiful. So that's my three tips for your body, for the body zone, right? And um, this is really, really great for you. Go ahead and um, implement them and then tell me what you think about them. Reply to the emails or, or reply to this email and tell me what you think about them. Come to your own university on Facebook and tell me what you think. I love, love to hear your feedback. All right, so in a few weeks, you're going to see a huge shifts and change if you just do those three things in your life. You're also going to feel much more confident 
in your body and your skin because you're going to know without a doubt, no matter what anybody says, you're taking excellent care of yourself and that's where confidence comes from. Nobody can take that away from you. Okay, so let's move on to power zone number two for this lesson, mindset. Like I was saying in our introductory um, piece of this, you have um, a subconscious mind. And when we're hurt, when we're abused, what tends to happen is we meanie make. It means that we kind of start running a story. I remember one time when I was really getting how powerful this is. And I was walking through a, a period of depression. I was just, boom, and I saw it. I finally really got it. I was in the shower. I was going through, oh, I'm worthless. I shouldn't live. I'm a horrible mom. I'm a horrible this. I'm a horrible that. Blah, blah, blah. My dad was right. My mom was right. Everybody's right, right? And honestly, it was right before I was asked, like, what pulled me out of it is I was remembering every place I had failed for some reason. The reason was announced to me later, but for some reason that week. And I didn't know the reason yet. So what happened was I was in the shower and bawling and bawling and bawling. And I literally saw my thoughts, like this story just going down the drain. And the further I got into the story, the further I got into I suck, whatever that is, I'm not enough, I'm a failure, blah, blah, blah. The more I told myself that and listened to that negative voice, I just went further down the rabbit hole of despair and depression. And I was like, how am I going to pull myself out of this one? And it, it was horrible. I got out of that shower. I saw it. I said, no more. I'm not going to go to these stories anymore. I went into this, the, my closet and I was bawling and I hit in the ground and I said, I am a success. I'm doing all this awesome stuff. I just wrote, you know, from bondage to happiness. I just did this. And the day, a day later I was deemed a best-selling author and I was asked to be a part of a book, um, failure, the key to success. <laughs> And the joke was on me. But that's exactly what our thoughts do. And if your first thoughts, if your basic brain, your subconscious mind that's formed between birth and seven was told negative things, then this is going to be key for you. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to find a way to record nice things about yourself. And you're gonna use these words, I have, I will, I choose, I can, and I create. So say that you have this story going in your mind and the story is, um, I have nothing to offer. You know, because you, know, you have a whole story behind it, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your boss, whatever, said blah, right? And so then you say, okay, I have nothing to offer is the belief that my mind keeps running, right? The story that keeps coming up whenever I feel like crap and taking over. And then I run down that, that trail with it. Instead of believing that, I'm going to tell myself, I, I have great purpose. I can do anything that I want to. I choose to create the life that I desire. I know the life that I desire, and I am a great asset to this world. You know? And at first it might sound like, oh, crap, but then it's like, eh. So say that somebody told you that you were worthless, you can do this for that. I have great value. You know, I'm really smart. I am really smart. My friends love me, and I'm a loyal friend. You know, and Mix, mix things in there that really feel good to you, that feel like they're reachable, they're attainable for you, and, and repeat them. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it onto your phone, if you have a phone, and you're going to press the little record button, and you're just going to speak it into it. Just speak it into it. Then I want you to put an earplugs in, and at night, as you're going to sleep, you're going to listen to yourself, tell yourself great things. I am beautiful. I feel confident and safe being beautiful. I have all the money and riches in the world that I need. I can solve problems and create my own 
money. I am finding creative ways to make more money. I am finding creative ways to blah, blah, blah. I create my own reality. All of this stuff. The trick is when we say the affirmations ourselves, rather than buying somebody else's program, although I definitely have it as part of my program where I do this for people, um, what happens is we start listening to ourselves. We really start listening. And the little girl, the little boy inside of you will start going, oh, and we start reparenting, rebossing, re purposing this into your own celebration. And this is the biggest tip, the most transformational tip that I have for you to start pre-programming your subconscious mind. So why am I telling you to do it right before you go to bed? There's two reasons. One is because as you're falling to sleep, your mind goes into the theta brain waves, the brain waves that literally absorb like a sponge in this pre-dream state. It's the brain waves of that we were in between the ages of six or zero and, and six or zero and seven, where you don't really remember what was happening in your life. It was because your mind was literally sucking everything up. Just like you don't really remember what you first dreamed about. You remember the end of the dream, but not really the beginning. So as you're going into that dream state, listening to this is really, really powerful. You can also listen to these affirmations, these affirming statements, when you are in a meditative state. That's a really powerful place to do it too if you meditate in the morning. Five, 10 minutes of this as you fall asleep, super, super powerful, will change the way that you speak to yourself because you deserve to be your own best friend. When you believe that you are wonderful and good and you are backing this up with with your own belief system out in the world, nobody can shake that confidence. Nobody can take that away from you. I love you know Nelson Mandela because he was in jail, in jail doing this stuff with himself and walked out the president, right? Like the leader of, of his nation. And if you can, if he can do it from jail, he's not like, he's just like you and I, we can do it. We, and this will help you break out of your own jail that you may or may not be in now and take your patterning back in your brain. Once you have this picking one, I'm going to give you one more tip. And whenever you hear yourself meme making, um, latch onto your favorite affirmation. So I am love or latch onto a favorite Psalm or something. So for me, I use a mantra. It's Jesus Christ, God and Savior, love through me and never cease. Now this works for me. It may or may not work for you. But I'm asking for that love to come through me. I'm asking for a higher higher call to come through me at that moment. And what I did when I was in my, um, in a place in my life where there was still argument, there was still fighting going around. Instead of fighting, instead of lashing back, I would go into this thought. Whenever I was washing my dishes or doing stuff where my mind would start meme making and dragging me down, complaining and bitching, I would stop it, take back control by going to this one phrase. And it was always the same phrase and I always went to it and I still do go to it because it started putting me back in control of my thoughts. It's your brain, it's your thought pattern. And what we think becomes reality. What we think becomes our words. So when you get in control of your thoughts, your words become more powerful, and then you start manifesting the life that you desire and that you want, meaning that you break the cycle of abuse and you start saying yes to more powerful, amazing things in your life. So those are my two power zones for today. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for being a part of our community. You are a game changer. You are a world changer and you are helping us all stop the cycle of abuse. And the more of us that are taking back our power and doing this, the more powerful the world will be. So I applaud you. I'm so grateful for you and talk to you soon. Bye.